what's up you guys this is literally gonna be my third time making this video um, and as you see my hipster cage is right in back of me and my cat is literally right next to me saying like what are you doing thinking um, so if you see like this camera move a little that's because she is rubbing up against it um, <laughs> But here is my setup and I will show you guys. So this is my setup. That's my hamster cage. She sleeps back there. Don't know if you can see her. No, you can't. But then all of this down here is my stuff where I keep all my treats, toys for her. And these are mostly treats down here. This is her main food. So, let's get on into this, shall we? Let's just move you up, if I can find the stick. So if, when I'm like down here, this is when I'm getting this. So the first thing is, of course, bedding. This is nothing sponsored. I only have like 30 subscribers, which I love you guys for. Um, this is Carefresh Complete 10 Day Odor. And I get the usual color colorful one. I got this one first time. Um, the first four or five times I changed her. Um, what was I gonna say? The, f the first times I changed her, it was green. And then this is her critter litter. <laughs> critter litter. It just is a tiny ball. see that um, you can't stop moving the camera and I have like this little pooper scooper and my cat is here smell sniffing it um, but I have this little pooper scooper for a hamster so that helps which I don't really use because it's all clumped together at the end and right here is where she goes to the bathroom stop it uh, and then this is the critter bath powder by KT um, it's pretty good. Um, I don't usually do it as often. <sighs> Hold on, I might have to change this. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that works. Critter bath powder, um, and for that you kind of need this thing. Um, I change the powder in here sometimes. And if you can hear the bag in the background, that's her climbing into the Primark bag I have. It's this little igloo kind of thing, and she'll go inside of it and pretty much have a bath with um, clay. You guys just need to see this for a second. What is she doing? What? Molly? What are you doing? Honey. <laughs> what are you doing? She's literally just sitting on a bag. I don't know why. And excuse the mess. The next thing is the adoption papers were, and the guinea pig itself, the hamster itself, sorry, um, was $23, which is Kinda ridiculous, but it was kind of worth it at the point, at the time. So this next thing is this little wooden ladder kind of thing, and it's like all chewed up because it's a chewable wooden ladder, which she likes. The next thing I have is this bendable thing that you can like bend into. Um, I don't really use this very much. Um, I probably should start again. This is only like $4 at my local one. Um, you could probably buy it for like $9, but <sighs> I mean, it's not. You wanna say hi to the camera? Come here. She, she's gonna move camera for me. Thanks. Come here. Come here. Come here. She hates me when I do this. She obviously hates me when I do this too. 
But she's my little baby girl. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she's so camera shy. I'm gonna put you down now. Go, girl. Ugh. It's so hot out. I went fishing today and oh my goodness. It's so hot. Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start again. Um, so then I have this little tunnel that came with her old cage that I bought. Um, and sometimes I put this in here. I don't usually anymore. And then my last thing is this pretty old hut that she can chew on. She'll chew on in there and then on this because this is chewable good for her teeth. Um, and the next two things are very vital um, for your hamster slash mouse slash rat. A lot of these you can use. Um, this is the Healthy Support Diet Fortifying Pieces of Dental Health Omega-3 and Probiotics. So it's just little nuggets that they really like. If my cat will stop moving the camera. Thank you. Um, this was, I think, around $10. But they don't actually eat a lot. I only give her two or three of these tiny nuggets. And like they, they come with little pieces like this and I, I, I don't give it to them. So the last thing for like the actual stuff like you need is this Katie Fiesta food. It just looks like that with like sunflower and corn and nuts and Timothy hay, I guess these little things, if you guys can see it. Yeah, those things. The next thing, which are we're getting into the treats now, which is all in this drawer. I have a lot. So the first thing is these Gerbert's um, Graduates Puff, Puffs Cereal Snack um, in Strawberry Apple. He, she, she, sorry. She loves these so much. I don't give it to her very much. Um, even if it only has one gram of sugar, I only give her like one or two. And my cat is staring at me like, oh, is that for me? No, it's not. So the next thing is I have a whole bunch of chew sticks, which those are literally self-explanatory. Um, the next thing I have is this chew stick with a treat in it. That was my cat. These are seeds and then this is like honey and hay or something, I think. And it's like, it's kind of woody. Woody? Like wood? Yeah. Um, the next thing I also have are these rabbit treat sticks. She's staring at me like I'm such a bad person because I don't give her a treat. Um, which are those things by Great Choice, I guess. I guess. She's looking at me like she wants it. I'll give it to her and she'll, I'll let her sniff it. But that's what it looks like. These were $4, I think. And the ones for actual hamsters were like $8. And these are just better. You can like cut them up and everything. And now, I don't usually give her these very often but who knows. So the next thing are these little peanuts. Um, I just crack these open halfway for her and she'll eat the peanut out of them and they're salted. And I've eaten some of them before and they taste just like peanuts. So, I mean, they're not that bad. And then these are little rice cakes that she likes. You guys can see them. They're just little wafers for her. She likes them. Um, now, again, I do not give them to her every day. I don't even give my guinea pig every day. I don't even give my cat an everyday treat. Um, and then these are little hand treats that I can just pick out and just give it to her um, when I get when I clean her cage. And these are just for like, here you go. Here's like a tiny snack. Um, I won't give those to her every day. Um, the next thing are these flower seed coated with candy coating. 
sunflower seed treats with candy coating. Sorry, messed that up. And these are what those like, and they're all, and they're by all living things. And it says to like spread it over the food, which I don't. I only give her like one or two. And again, don't do it every day. Um, I only used this once, and this was for like making like a homemade treat for her. Stop, Molly. Jeez. Um, this is by Brown's Extreme Trail Mix. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's with uh, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, raisins, um, sunflower seeds, pasta product. Pasta product? Don't know what that is. Dried sweet potato, dried carrot, watermelon seeds. These have watermelon seeds? Didn't see that. Um, dried dates, flaked peas, dried cranberries, wheat, corn flour, puffed rice, and rice. You can see my cat in the background right there. Hey baby, I know you want attention. Um, so the next two items, I give this to her sometimes too, she'll nibble on it, but she doesn't usually eat it, is this Millet Snips. Um, it's by Healthy Selection and it's apparently natural and everything. Um, and I see a lot of people give them to her, or their hamsters. Now this, okay, this has a lot of sugar in it. Like it doesn't say, I don't think. No, it doesn't. Um, but these are by Browns too, which is Tropical Carnival Hoops with Honey Treats. And it's like berry flavored. Um, and they're just like little donut shapes. I don't know. Um, but again, I don't give it to her all the time. Um, she is currently asleep, but I'm gonna wake her up. Be right back. Elizabeth. She is completely black, um, except on her belly she has a tiny bit of white, and this is her. If you guys can see her. She's, she's, she's my little baby. Um, she does have sharp claws, um, which I don't really <laughs> like, but I'll try to get out of the picture so you guys can see her. She's shaking right now and trying to nibble me because I woke her up, but that is her. Um, and we have a wheel um, too. So that's how pretty much she gets the energy to do everything at night. She is shaking though. Um, um, because of, I just woke her up and I, I kind of woke her up fast too. Um, but she pretty much goes in her little tunnel and if you guys see like this piece of wood and like the blanket, that's for the cat because she'll sometimes walk across it, which the hamster doesn't mind at all. Um, it does not bother her. And I'm gonna go out of the camera for a second. It does not bother her at all. Um, so this is the cage. The water bottle is right there. This is a cheese block here. I'm gonna put you back so you can Say bye. Oops. Say bye. And this is just like a regular terrarium. She doesn't have any more food. That's because she eats it all. And it's literally all over her cage. Um, so I have like a ring of chew sticks there. You can see her eating there. 
if it'll focus. That's her eating. That's her little bed that she sleeps on. That's her little wheel. That's the sign. <laughs> she doesn't really use that orange thing very much. Um, and that's her salt lick, her bathroom. She's probably like, Mom, don't no, show people like that. That's her little bed again, and that's where she sleeps behind there, like the little tunnel. Um, and then this little cheese block.